my plants, y'all. I put them outside yesterday and the day before to get some rain. And look how they go on. My tree is looking so good. She got a new piece right there. Hello. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. She's showing out. Look. She got a new piece right there. My nails are dirty because I just finished repotting some stuff. But that one. This one. It looked like it's dying, y'all, but it's not. It's just these leaves will fall off and then new leaves will come on. So it looked like it's dying, but it's very healthy. And then these are doing so good. And my girl is showing up. So I might want to repot this because... If you can see, it's another part coming out right there, so I can cut that off and repot that. So there'll just be these two in here. That's how you procreate and make more plants out of one. My aloe vera, we've been breaking off pieces of her, but I got to put her in a bigger pot. And... My piece, my piece, Lily, she doing good. Ain't this what it is? I think it is. Oh, snake plant. Yeah, help with the air in your house. So she doing good. I had to cut a piece of her off right there. She was acting up. Yeah, but I'm loving my plant the most. She is doing so good. Look at her. Y'all see her dancing. She doing so good. Yes, she is. Y'all see it dancing. <laughs> but yeah. These is my, my faithfuls though. They grow real. Anybody that want plants in their house. These are the best plants, like, for real, for real. You could forget about watering them, and they'll still grow. They'll start breaking off, but they'll still grow. Like, it was so thinning, but now they're growing so good, and... I was giving my plants bottled water, purified water. Like, if the kids get a bottle of water and they wouldn't drink the whole bottle of water, I would pour it in my plants because I'm like, I'm not about to waste this water that I done paid for, right? So that's what I was feeding my plants. And I started noticing they were growing and looking as pretty, it was like they were stunning. They were growing, but the, not really. So what I started doing was I put them outside when it rained. And they love the rain. That's what made them grow so beautiful. Forget about, I mean, I'm not saying forget about it, but, you know, fertilizer, all of that kind of stuff, I wasn't doing. But I will say, putting them outside in the rain and talking to them and rubbing, rubbing them like that, like, they love it. It's like they're, they're, they are living beings, so... They they do like to be rubbed and touched and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, but the natural rain is the best. So that kind of let me know too, because I was even giving them sink water when I didn't give them bottled water. And they was dying, y'all. I can show y'all some videos of I have them dying off, but now they done grew so much and so pretty. She my favorite. I'm sorry, y'all. No, no. Like, this one right here, my favorite too, but she dying off. And if you can see, like, can you see this? So it's about to bloom again, right? So, yep, we had new blooms on that. So don't think that your orchid is dead if you don't see flowers because that's what they do. And I'm learning because I'm just, you know, a new plant mom. Well, I've been a plant mom for years, but... I'm finally getting into it. Okay? So I'll see y'all next video. And we'll see how this one do. I need a bigger pot for that one. But love y'all. Like, subscribe. Hit me up. Kimmy loves. I miss y'all. Alright? Give me a like. Share my videos. Comment. Do all the good things. And I appreciate y'all so much for hanging with me through all these years. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. Bye, y'all.